the fastest way to get your clips from your camera into Premiere Pro is with the Frame.io Camera to Cloud integration. Premiere Pro supports H.264 proxy files natively, so you can edit right off your Camera to Cloud files and online the original camera files when you're done. The first thing you'll want to do is install the Frame.io Premiere Pro panel and log in. This gives you a direct portal into Frame.io from within Premiere itself. From here, you can select any clip or group of clips, right click and import your resolution of choice. Once you select a download location, the clips will automatically be downloaded and imported into your Premiere project. If you shoot with a camera that uses spanned clips, you may need to append the clip to match the first OCF span as I've done here. Once you import your camera to cloud proxies and your audio files, you can sync them inside of Premiere and start editing with those clips immediately. So here I have a sequence with a bunch of camera to cloud assets I've synced up. Premiere has the flexibility to either relink to a hero daily or conform to the OCF, totally up to you. Also, it's important to know that for this workflow to be successful, your OCF will have to be Premiere compatible. So you should definitely consult the documentation over at Adobe support before you start shooting. So let's step through this process. Before starting, it's always good to save and back up your project. Next, select all the Frame.io C2C files in your bin. Right click and select Make Offline, then select Media Files Remain on Disk and click OK. All the proxy files should now be offline. Select the same clips in the bin again, right click and select Link Media. In the Link Media window, we'll need to configure the linking rules. Under Match File Properties, check File Name and leave the other options unchecked. To the right, in General Options, check Align Time Code, Relink Others Automatically, and Preserve Interpret Footage Settings. These settings will ensure that any cuts will be preserved correctly after a relink. Your settings should match this. With the first clip selected, click Locate. In the Finder window, navigate to the matching clip in the folder of the media you would like to link to. If the rest of the media is in the same folder, Premiere should find all of it automatically. Click Open. You just took proxy files from the cloud and linked them to the raw media. Adobe Premiere Pro is very flexible when it comes to relinking, conforming, and onlining, and it supports almost every codec at every resolution. Wow. Like with other major NLEs, you'll have the option to export your timeline with proxy footage from Premiere to your finishing application of choice. And then there, relink your offline material to your original camera files to create your final deliverables.